Oh yeah, baby. Quartz. Oh yeah, don't you love it? <laughs> How you doing, guys? How you doing? Welcome back. Wait, right torch here. Yes. To the, another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Yes, I'm in front of the stock exchange here. And I just am coming back from an extensive mining trip. Oh yeah, we got that quartz, baby. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. We need that quartz. So let's remove that wall and reveal the beautiful view on the... St oh, what do we have here on the stock exchange? I was about to say, there seems to be a big change. Maybe this was all a trick and I built this wall as some kind of spoiler shield and also as a way to introduce what we're gonna do today. My god, this is some Steven Spielberg level of stuff going on here on the Hermitcraft server. Talking about Steven Spielberg, I just had a nice meeting with Suzuma Void. Yes, and you will learn about that, yeah, maybe in the Friday episode. Mm -hmm. This week um, looks like, you know, the business is booming. We might have made another very, very good deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. And yeah, it's also coming together in front of the stock exchange. I'll keep on mining all this quartz off camera. Um, yeah, I just wanted to use that as a little introduction to today's episode. Look at that, my friends. Mr. Scar, I wake up this morning very early and get a message um, from Scar saying, yo, I'm done with the gardening project. It's like, what do you mean done? It's like, yeah, I have to go to TwitchCon, quickly whipped it out. Here you go. Uh, Central Park is done. And it's like, all right, locked on and yeah, mind blown. He actually did it, the mad lad. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Is this not beautiful? We got autumn trees back in there. We got the gates, kind of the Central Park feel when you come in here. Right, it leads over to Zizuma's area, and then later, of course, will also lead on to the skyscraper, which we talk about in a second. Man, this is so great! Look at that. I haven't had time to negotiate a scar's payment yet because, yeah, as I said, he was off, off, up in a way towards a TwitchCon, and yeah, on his channel, the video about him creating all this will come out a bit later than mine, I think, tomorrow. You will be able to see that, so make sure to check out Scar's video and also show him some love for making this amazing build. So, I was looking at it and I love everything, but uh, one thing I have to say, I would like it if people come in here, right, and have a really, really open view on the stock exchange. So that means the fountain here, I love that we have a fountain, right, but I feel it's a bit too tall and maybe it would be good enough if you just have it flat here and doesn't need to be like a real fountain like that. So I was thinking maybe, wait, do I have even anything free in my inventory? No. Let's go ahead and see if we can maybe remove the water up there and lower the whole thing. That was not the plan. I'm having a hard time shifting items about you know, and remove it for now. If you can put it back, if you guys think it it, it looked better before, don't want to, you know, mess with Scar's design ideas here or whatever. But I just felt maybe, yeah, if we open it up a little bit here, it might look a little bit better. Just so we get the view on the stock exchange, right? That's the only reason. Um, I, I was thinking maybe we could, we could remove it here a little bit. Oh, man. Let me let me get these quartz stairs. Everything quartz is pure gold to me after spending a good one and a half hours in the nether. Yeah, look at that. See, I don't know. Maybe we can add some details here on the on the on the fountain or so. But I just like it better if we have this open look. You let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Um, but yeah, for for just general you know, epicness, I feel the open look when you come in here kind of adds to it, right? Wow, skyscrapers, big stuff, you know what I mean? So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm gonna mine this quartz, turn it all into quartz blocks, and then um, we continue work downstairs. And yeah, oh yeah, skyscraper, before I forget, uh, real quick, you guys did send in really good feedback, really good ideas in the comments, really good ideas via Twitter, I've um, got a nice uh, few pictures there and really good feedback also on the Reddit, so you used all the channels available. Thank you for that and yeah, to make it short, 
pretty much what all ideas had in common was a darkish color theme consisting out of brick colors and cyan and gray, darkish gray uh, as a general theme. And I totally agree, um, especially now with Scar's amazing landscaping escaping in place. And look at them trees, man, autumn trees, loving them. Um, it's easier for me now as well to really see clear. So this is the center of attention. This is at least at this area and should not should be supposed to be the center of attention. It needs to blend in with nice dark colors. But on top there, of course, we can have like maybe the ender pearl sign or something we, we mentioned, right? You can make it a bit more flashy. But if you come in here, you want to focus on the stock exchange and then maybe, ooh, what's over there? Also talked with Zizuma about that rock and he said, yeah, he wants to remove it. So here you go, Scar. Um, um, yeah, Zizuma also agrees it needs to go. So in any case, let me go ahead and do quartz mining. Oh, that's the wrong pick. And uh, speak to you when I'm done with this. Should be quite a lot. All right, we're down in the jacuzzi cave or vault. And yeah, I'm sprucing this place up a bit, making it look a little bit better. Just, you know, doing my thing here. Yeah, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. Lots of quartz. Let me quickly get some more. I need some of those, um, whatchamacallit, chiseled, right? Yeah, that's how you do them. Let's get a few of these and finish that. And then I can show you what I've been working on down here so far. Looking pretty good. Also, it will address some of you guys' feedback. So, yeah. Good stuff. All right. Neat. I like that. Looks good. Gives it a, a bit of a different feel, different trim here. Yeah, that is definitely cool. All right. So I hooked up all the walls. Let's check it out. Yep. All these walls open and all these walls over there open as well. Here is the slots for the security, right? So that will, we have to take care of that too. And yeah, you've got the bouncing diamond blocks. A lot of you guys said I should also, or I should even replace the diamond blocks with um, single diamonds, you know, just diamond item. Might look better. I might give it a shot, although it was really tedious to hook up the armor stands there because, you know, locking them and then you constantly mark the wrong one and whatnot. So hopefully I can get that. If not, uh, I also s I just sprinkle a few diamonds in there, right? I mean, why not? We just toss one or two more armor stands in there, make it bounce too, and th that'll be then individual diamonds. That'll work. So, I thought about um, some more ideas for here. So, back here, actually, as we have like still a lot, a lot of diamond blocks and whatnot, we definitely gonna be a uh, build a, a real vault that opens up. And there's going to be storage, you know, for the diamond blocks on the left and on the right. And they're going to pile up here. And this is going to look like, yeah, a real vault where we keep all our riches. And, you know, when we want to feast on them, we open we open the thing here and look at them. Also, it's an additional security layer, right? The actual vault is even more hidden. So back there. And then, yeah, here I will make the bubble columns. And that is the first thing I want to try. And yeah, here in the corners, we will have slabs too. And I need to make this wall here. So I, I'll continue this this checkerboard uh, pattern a bit, you know, with the chiseled and the uh, pillars, kind of like that. And I think that looks pretty decent. Let's quickly roll out here and look from the outside. Yeah, I mean, that looks quite majestic already when you look in there. Let me qu quickly get a few more slabs so we can finish these corners. Yeah, it's a bit of build, more building. Um, for me today, that is great. You know, we cannot always go like redstone ma crazy. <laughs> it, in general, right, it's quite funny. Like when I started off the season, I said, yeah, you know, I really want to take it, take it easy this season and don't stress myself out so much and stuff like that. <laughs> and, um, you know, maybe not build these super complex things. <laughs> well, that didn't last long, right? We're already in the middle of making all kinds of complex things and I'm loving it. Um, I already have the next idea for, because I want to make more, more cool redstone stuff. So we're going to open up a shop where we actually yeah, offer redstone services. 
now P, you know and the shop it's gonna be epic <laughs> it's gonna be so epic um, you will see man you know obviously if you want to sell redstone services right you gotta advertise your redstone skills yeah so I'll make sure the shop will do that <laughs> I already have crazy plans for that it's so much fun all right so let me focus on getting the bubble columns here done mm. Now, let me think about that real quick. It would be cool if we actually had the bubble effect. Right? Thing is though, with with these bubble elevators, like items raise in them like super fast. As you, you know, you see the bouncing, but let's say if it if it uh, drop that down here, the item would literally shoot up. So it'd be super fast. So to have a nice kind of item flow, we probably need regular water columns. And then, what the heck? <laughs> wow. Um, okay, that's bad that there is mobs down here. That's very bad in general. If that is a creeper, we have a problem. So, hmm. Probably we're gonna work um, without, without bubbles then. Or make items drift down. That would also be an option. Make them drift down and then go back up again. Because technically, you know, for our effect, if you make it from below, it's easy. We need hoppers <coughs> on top, you know, and then we just um, dispense the items back down and then cycle them. Hmm. I will play around with it a little bit. <coughs> it would be cool if you had bubbles in there too amongst the items. I need to check how fast items move in a downwards draft. Ah, mesmerizing. <laughs> uh, yes, I do like that. That is exactly the effect I wanted to have. So you chill in your epic jacuzzi here, you know. Diamonds behind us flowing up. Oh, it looks so nice. Uh, I'm loving it. Okay, it looks easy. But this was more complicated than you think. So when we observe the behavior of these two pillars of diamonds coming up, right? You can see there's two droppers. One, two. You can see they behave erratically, right? They don't stay in their lane, so to speak. They tend to clump up, maybe even stack together, and so on. So that's why I had to put some thought into this. And yeah, all of these diamonds are actually named individually. That makes sure they cannot stack with each other, and that makes sure, um, yeah, always um, the two droppers down there have enough to fire. If we come down here and check it out, you can see this dropper has nine, and this has at least three in there. Never runs lower, right? And that is exactly what we need. And yeah, if we would not do that because of the disbalance, it could easily happen that we end up with a stack of diamonds in here and nothing over there. But by making it impossible for the items to stack together, we achieve this effect uh, exactly what we want. This is just a test clock down here I have running. Um, but pretty much if we dig up here, we can see yeah, this, this can go. Um, we need to be careful. There is some water behind here. Um, yeah, we can dig, dig that away. Uh, but you can see um, we got two hoppers pointing in, in the droppers here, right? And here is where the, where the items land, where they fall down. So right there. So the water stream ends up there, the items go up, fall down here, and then they hit these two ho um, hoppers pointing into this chest. And the chest has the two other hoppers below, um, leading into the droppers here, right? And yeah, this is just to catch the, the items back. And we make sure, like, you know, here we have nine this is completely full and this is also completely full. That means any diamonds that end up in this chest now will definitely end up in the other hopper. Right? You understand? Like Because this line is full. Full, full. This hopper can't take anything. Tops one. And we have more diamonds in there um, as the whole one side can take, which is pretty much nine, 
plus 5 plus 5, so 19. And yeah, we have like 26 diamonds or so in there to make sure it always works. 24 should also be enough. Just individually name them and then we're good. And then you have the hopper on top and yeah, that's how we keep it running all the time. And that's why we cannot have unnamed items um, because they would stack together and then the thing could break. But the way we have it now, it cannot break. The downside of it, I'm blasting through my levels and uh, that's already my second anvil. <laughs> this will be expensive, but hey, we spare no costs for the stock exchange here. We go all in. I'm already started to quartz out more here and so on, you know, looking good. So if we close this now, it will be nicely hidden in the walls. Um, something like that, maybe I will raise this this bar um, all the way up and actually try to do something with half slabs there. So we kind of get a similar look. Should be able to achieve that. I think, oops, that would um, definitely look better in the end. Like if you have, um, you know, this strip of whatever pillar going all the way on top. I think I will do that. And yeah, we'll try to hook up more of these diamond displays and then hopefully we have some time to work on the vault as well. Alrighty guys, check it out. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Diamonds bubbling everywhere. Oh yeah. If that screams, if that doesn't scream we are filthy rich, then I don't know what. <laughs> uh, you wanna hook some chiseled in the corner here? Yeah, why not? Let's fill these corners in. And then we should almost be good. A little bit more chiseled. That took way longer, way, way, way longer than expected. Pretty much hours. Because, yeah, all of the diamond naming and so on, that took way longer than I thought it would. But, uh, you know, as I am committed with this build, we said, you know, we're not gonna slack here at all. Um, didn't we just make one? No? So, yeah, we're pulling through. Whatever we make, we're gonna make really, really good. No compromise, right? That's the motto for this build here. Okay, and yeah, the top, how did I do the top here? Okay, yeah, we have lamps in there. Should do that too, so everything is nice and bright. Right there. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's looking so good. Diamonds there, diamonds there, diamonds here, diamonds there, diamonds everywhere. And now we can start doing the back back part of the cave. And yeah, here we want to do diamond stash, right? Diamond is, is a stash back there. So first we need a floor. Hmm, do we want to do a wooden floor in there or maybe something else? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. This is what we have left. So, yeah, we used quite a bunch of the diamonds Javin invested, but we still have a full stack pretty much and a bit more over. And we're gonna use that to decorate our stash back there, our main hall or main storage facility for the gold. Hmm, maybe we should uh, do a bit of a more clean, clean floor here and come in with the slabs, you know. So it more or less looks like a bit of a very clean storage Ooh, facility. Okay, that was... <laughs> there's so many holes everywhere and things. I need to cover it all up and never go back to this redstone. Also, yeah, when it's running, this whole deal your legs a bit. So I guess we, we switch it off and just manually work in here. So I guess, yeah, clean floor like that. That should look really good. And I want to have it on this height, you know, so you can walk in and it maybe we extend the height of the room in here by one. But having it, you know, really cramped in like that might actually be really cool and yeah, give a good effect of a vault. But I think we need one more block here and we should be able to do that. I mean, I need to go up. This is probably the last block, uh, but there shouldn't be any more water. I, I have cleared that out. But yeah, three high in here is definitely okay. 
and then um, yeah we'll start to decorate this place so let me lay out some floors and stuff you know and play around with it a little bit let me check what time is it oh yeah I got a another two hours or so until I need to start editing and recording that is kind of what dictates how much I can do in an episode I try to start as early as possible and then work all day and then yeah latest around seven or so I really need to end it and that is already cutting it cutting it close because the episode uh, goes live two hours later and I still have to do the editing it all and if something goes wrong you know no episode so yeah I think I have another let's say not two hours rather a good one in one hour or so I can put into this and yeah let's see how far we can get all right let's check it out yeah <laughs> <laughs> diamonds everywhere so this is just a start um, wait let's, let's turn it off and quickly dig away the the sand here so we can work there and we don't have to run the clocks all the time okay so the idea is right this will be the storage vault where we have piles and piles and piles of of diamond blocks and kind of you know it um, yeah, it should look semi-organized, so, you know, it's kind of here is, is kind of storage areas for the, for the blocks, and it's kind of, yeah, it once was kind of planned out, but then we get so many diamonds that it is a bit less organized in a way, you know, that's kind of the idea, maybe have a small pile even here in the middle, although that'll block the view on the back, okay, and let's say we could store a little bit more here it could look like it's quite a lot some in the corner here and then we have two more at the moment um, yeah, it looks a bit unbalanced now actually let's remove those and spread them out evenly so seven more and yeah, we can pile up a bit more here okay Three more, there's too many diamond blocks, man. Um, okay, let's put that here. And maybe one up there. All right. Okay. So this is the actual vault with the diamond blocks, and then they are in there. Sitting back there for us to, to glance at. And also gives us easy access in, in, in case we actually need to do payouts, right? The idea is I have some sort of neon lights here in the ceiling, right? this design here I think that looks pretty pretty decent it follows the design what we did and of course this room is a bit more simple by design it's a safe wall you know vault room the ceiling is quite <laughs> quite nice it's a full um, yeah quartz but yeah the, the floor I made simple and the walls for a reason it, I kind of wanted this to stand out a bit as some yeah with a storage room feeling and yeah, while you're sitting here, right, you have a very nice view in there and can, you know, just feast your eyes on the riches here. have some carpets now, too, kind of leading up to the jacuzzi, right? So that is all neat. And yeah, we need to add a few more details here. The ceiling is not done as well. Um, probably we need to integrate the lighting for the jacuzzi ho here, too. So I was thinking maybe around here we could have two cross beams coming uh, coming over and then kind of embracing a light source in the middle I need to work out that is sitting right on top of the jacuzzi and then we get a bit more structure into this thing and then we should be fine we definitely have some way to work here with the ceiling we can definitely make it a little bit higher so it actually has some depth so let's say if we you know if you break, break out all these and then come over with beams and connect it should look like um, it's a pretty decent ceiling here as well. Maybe I'll scoot them over by one. Maybe start them here. That would be probably better. Whoop. Hello. No. Give me that back. Full. Again. Ah, too much stuff. All right. Yeah, put that back. And yeah, probably start one further over. So that would be here. Two strong beams over. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I can work out a ceiling here too. And um, then, yeah, I'll show this to Ren, I guess. And um, let's see if he has some more ideas. But I'm pretty sure we could add some more details here. Maybe we could have some, some chests, some shelving, you know, and also um, yeah, our very own private, um, like, um, Schalke box. Um, how to call it? Safe deposit boxes right here in the corners. That would definitely also fit. We could have a few. One, two, three. One, two, three. If it's kind of symmetrical, then we could store some stuff there too. And if people want to rent a place to store some super special value stuff, they can also come to us and we can put it in here. So yeah, maybe some more kind of storage items, shelving and so on. That would maybe work out some more detailing. Let's see how much time I can spend. If not, we continue your next episode and finish the job. Maybe Ren has some good ideas too. So yeah, let me do some more work here and get the ceiling in. Ren! Hi! <laughs> Dude! We're getting yeah. so close, we're getting so close. Um, I've got a very serious question for you, Doc. Mm -hmm. Why is it that every time I see you, you're holding your carrot? Oh, um, I'm just a hungry boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, yeah, uh, I've been spending got all good day. Me, man. I, I've been yes. mining diamonds. Yeah, and uh, you sent me a message like, "Ren, you gotta, you gotta come see something." Is it yes. this door? Have you like? I saw this door. I could, didn't know how to open it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the door, <laughs> the door is pretty decent. You know, you open it like that. Type in the code. Oh, it's a special code. Yeah. Oh, oh, gee. Oh, wait a minute, dude. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh the, yeah you actually did it yes the mad lad <laughs> okay so it's it's a swimming pool of diamonds in it oh that's kind of cool yeah well yeah, this, this is cool dude i like it yeah this is, i mean i can cool. swim around in diamond in diamonds wait what's going on <laughs> what the freak is going on i thought you know a swimming pool wasn't good enough I thought if we really, really, really doing the Wolf of Wall Street, we need to completely go excessive. So we have a nice whirlpool now. Dude, we can chill in, right? This is absolutely insane. So over How there. How did you do this? Trickery, man. It's magic. I am literally Scrooge McDuck right now, swimming <laughs> in and amongst diamond blocks. And dude, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. Also, like, what's going on around here? There's diamonds in the in the walls. And then we are rich. I mean, what you're gonna do? You know, if you're filthy rich, you do weird stuff. So, we got we got diamond lava walls. You know, la lava lamp walls here hooked up too. That's working. <laughs> and yeah, this is the best. Mesmerizing. And yeah, in here is actually the big stash. That is yeah over a full stack of diamond blocks we still have, and wow. you know. I just wanted to have this here so we can just feast our eyes on it while we sit here on our spots. Here is my spot. Over there is yours. Oh, over here. Yeah, and yeah. we don't bounce, so we... we oh, wait, let, here. Mm. Nice. And then we can I, do I, big I business, there's a spot you know. here for a lady also. A beautiful lady can come chill Yes, here. yes, of course. Yeah. We, we like the ladies. We like the women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for for our assistant regional manager, uh, Jamin... Uh, assistant to the regional manager. Oh, yeah. I'm, excuse me. Yeah. He can maybe sit over there, but he has no cool glass, um, you know, arm armrests. And he doesn't get a lady either. No, no, that's a single person spot over there. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. maybe if you have somebody to negotiate business with and we want to impress them, they could maybe sit there, right? But I, and they get a lady. Yeah. Okay. If you think it, think the lady thing is, or if it's a female customer, they get a nice. Of course, guy. They, they get a they get a, a, a man okay. or whatever they want. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> We have it all. Well, it's all about the diamonds here, but you know, I dreamed about this, exactly this scene. <laughs> Us two <laughs> chilling. This is amazing. Chilling in here, man. Look at them. We made it, bro. We, we're made, we made man. it, bro. We made it. <laughs> Listen, it's been great. You know, I spent, I've been on YouTube for seven years. This is it. I'm done now. Uh, yeah. My life is complete. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> made, man. This is the best thing ever. You know what? I think the office, right? Office upstairs, and then we got yeah. it, bro. And that's it. One yep. last thing to do. So we briefly talked about the workload we still have to go. Um, I have a, a bunch of quads left I can give to Ren. Oh yeah, by the way, you just need to tap the note block here. We can turn it off so you can <laughs> you can actually really swim in there. It's a bit small for swimming, but yeah. I'm loving it, dude. <laughs> feeling, the, feeling the diamonds brush yeah. against my skin as I, I do a backstroke. It's oh, yeah. just a thing. Oh yeah, it's actually, it's actually really nice. You're right. 
So it's both. <laughs> so yeah, I think um, around the weekend, guys, we will do the big opening, finally. We worked for this for weeks and you guys supported us along the way like crazy. Yep. And yeah, Sunday is the big day. Most likely we will be opening. If not, you know, the server burns down or something, you know. <laughs> I mean, you never know. <laughs> but that's the goal. And then hopefully big trading will begin and Ren and Doc will stack up more diamonds in their vault. And yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Dude. Um, I I have noticed that there's the, the these walls are cute, but they're they're wrong. Uh, yeah, I just thought you know as I actually did yeah, it don't intentionally. Worry, I, I, I got it. I got it. No, but you know I did it intentionally. Like we have these neon lights on top, right? And I thought oh, this, okay. this this was uh, also the very simple floor. So yeah. technically, this was only a storage vault. But as we were so rich, we just loaded our diamonds in there and it repurposed it as a, you know. <laughs> I don't know what it is, a diamond vault, store diamond <laughs> yeah. vault. I mean, I, feel free, if you want to go ahead, uh, change the walls, uh, feel yeah. free to do so. It's a bling bling garage, dude, that's what this is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's it. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm glad the Ren Diggity Dog is happy. Look at him. <laughs> happy guy. <laughs> and I would say I see you next time. Um, I guess we're gonna try to attempt to build the Empire State Building Tower upstairs. That's gonna be a challenge. But I have a plan now. And yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Bye, guys.